So, I'm back and doing some experimenting with rendering. So I've started uh, getting back into the Blender animations and working on fluid simulations. So I've just pulled up my old fluid simulation, my old fountain fluid simulation, which I did a year ago. And now I'm trying to come up with better ways of doing rendering with it. I haven't changed anything with the animation itself, but I have been playing with shaders and uh, just the, the materials and stuff, and more so the render engine that's actually driving it. So, usually, I would do rendering with a CPU, because that gives you the best, best kind of uh, end result, end product, end image, so gives you the, the, the best looking result. But it takes a long time, it takes a lot of CPU power. So, the, uh, the last re-render I did with my CPU, um, it's an 8-core CPU, I think it's close to 3 gigahertz. And for a 1080p uh, environment lit scene with fluid simulation, it took two and a half hours to render. Just one frame, one picture. So now, I'm experimenting with, instead of using my CPU, I'm using my GPU. And this is the render that I'm currently pulling off. So, same resolution. Actually, right now I'm testing with uh, half resolution, but it's basically half of 1080p, and that looks pretty good. But instead of using the CPU, I'm using the GPU, and I've got a giant GTX 570, which is, has a, a whole bunch of CUDA cores in it, and I've also got a secondary 650 Ti, and I'm able to render directly to both of those simultaneously achieving a render time of 30 seconds. 30 seconds, half resolution. It took two and a half hours before and that looks pretty damn good. So this is my monitor over here, just displaying usage. So there's my CPU usage below. It is still using a little bit of CPU. I've got a couple of different things running. But uh, I guess me and just managing. But over here, this shows me my GPU usage. And the top one here is the 570, and the other is the 650. Now the 570 is a higher end model. It is an older card, but it's a higher end card. Higher, so um, that one you can see actually, they, they both get the same amount of work, but you can see the 650 Ti is working harder and longer while the 570 has a bit of a gap where it's actually waiting for the 650 to finish. So um, I think later I might try to tweak the settings, the cork settings, and try to overclock the uh, 650 Ti so that it better matches the speed of the 570. That way there won't be any bottlenecks where the 570 is doing nothing. So I, I may even be the improved render time yet a bit. So uh, the uh, 570 actually has better cooling than this, oh, sorry, the 650 Ti actually has better cooling than the 570 since it's got, it's, it's got basically a blow fan on it. So it should be able to better, better handle the overclocking, I think, because it's got better coolers. And it runs cooler too, so you can see the 570 runs at 79 degrees, where the 650 is steady at 61 degrees. So I think it'll be able to handle the, uh, a little bit of overclocking. So that should be, be good. So yeah, this is looking pretty good over here. I, I'm really glad I'm doing this experiment. It's working out for me quite nicely. I think it might actually look possibly a little bit better than my previous render because I think I got the, the material of the water a little bit nicer than I did when I was using uh, CPU rendering last year. Pretty cool.